All right, guys, how's it going, East Banglers out here? Today, we're talking fishing, like always. We're gonna focus a little bit today on fishing in the winter. Specifically, though, we're gonna focus on fishing for Mackinac Lake Trout in California. Now, I wanna go ahead and break down some of the better fisheries right away that you guys can get yourself on some lake trout, some Mackinac, um, as they're commonly referred to and both names are correct. Um, so this um, particular fish can grow quite large. Uh, I believe the state record is mid-range 40s and it came out of Lake Tahoe. So Lake Tahoe, let's talk about that first. That is the premier lake trout slash Mackinac fishery in the state. It's also the deepest lake in the state. Um, the fact that it is the deepest in Mackinac are especially, um, you know, they're, they're, they're more so a really deep lake fish, you know, like the Great Lakes in Canada, extremely deep, extremely cold. They do really well. They thrive. Now there's an abundance of food in Tahoe that, you know, the Mackinac, the lake trout are feeding on. So they're extremely healthy and they're extremely thick and they've uh, essentially, you know, um, I've seen some Max come out of, say, Jenkinson Lake, and they look scrappy, scrawny, and, uh, well, they look like they're barely getting, you know, enough food to put meat on the bones there. And uh, you go ahead and get up to Tahoe, and they're much, they're much more of, a, let's call it a fat fish, obese, girthy, thick, chub, Oh yeah, big belly. So um, Lake Tahoe is a premier fishery and a lot of people think you gotta pay a guide, but you don't. What you guys need to do, you need to focus a little bit on some of the deep areas. So more or less the North Shore, there's gonna be some areas you can park, day use areas. Go down, find some deep water access or an area that's really close to deep water access or the channel. And if you can get on a point, that's always nice, but it's gonna be real windy if you get on a point. So there's a lot of Mackinac. You can catch them from the bank. I've caught plenty from the bank. I've caught probably more from the bank than you know anything else. So you can catch them kayak fishing or in a boat trolling. You could throw traditional Mackinac baits and you can troll for them. You can bump the bottom. You guys can throw all kinds of different swim baits and different sizes and colors of bait fish. A lot of people like spoons, big Rapalas. That's the norm. Let's talk about some of the things people do that isn't the norm. You know, um, so bumping spoons, not everybody's digging as much as some, and that's because they haven't got the right rod, the right action, and the right spoon, and they're not spooning in the right area. If you're not in the right area, and if you're not more or less understanding the nature of why the fish are in that area, it's really hard to target them and be extremely effective consistently. So, Lake Tahoe, get on it if you haven't already. 20 plus pound Mackinac coming out of there all the time. Now let's talk about another lake. You know, Jenkinson Lake is not too far from my neck of the woods. It's a little lake that uh, you definitely can catch them in. They're a lot tougher to catch. And I would say that they're a lot, you know, smaller, scrawny, scrappy. So 18, 20 inches, 22 inches would be your average. You're not looking at big fish. You're looking at one all the way to two pound fish for your average, whereas Tahoe is more of a four to five pound average. <laughs> Excuse me. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is a couple other lakes. Echo Lake. You've got uh, Echo Lake, Upper Echo, I'm sorry, Echo, and then there's Tamarack and Upper Tamarack. All three of those are extremely good Mackinac lakes, but Tamarack especially is a great Mackinac Lake. Um, a lot of people overlook those lakes. There are some other random places. Donner Lake, for one, extremely productive 
when it comes to big max but very difficult to catch max in general there it's a very difficult bite so the last place we're going to talk about before we get on is going to be union valley union valley reservoir has a lot of max um a lot less of late i'm not sure what that's about probably pressure but in general, guys, if you haven't been getting on the Mackinac, they're a really fun fish to fight. It's a lot of fun. The one thing I want to mention before I let you guys go is if you're fishing for Mackinac, you have to remember they're not the they're not really the best when it comes to taste. They're oily. And honestly, they're a little bit disappointing. So if you could, you should probably leave your breeders alone better to take some of those smaller ones and try them out because you might not even like them i didn't and uh, i didn't even keep one for me i kept one for my dad and he didn't like it so i talked to a lot of uh other people as well so keep that in mind stay tuned and thanks for watching